Hey Tankers, Bonsai Duck here. So today I got a twofer, a couple videos for you from Nonamandus from the HBG clan in his CS63. He's uh, been sending us some videos of this of this tank and um, it got a nice little progression here of two videos. I thought maybe we'd put them back to back and enjoy them. CS63 is the Polish uh, tier 10 uh, medium with the turbine, uh, the gas powered turbine. You know, as you can see the little spinning wheel, uh, it takes two seconds to kick in, I believe. Um, that gives you, you know, boost to speed. You know, it's not a turbo. I wonder what would. Ha I wonder if you could even put a turbo on this, and what would happen if you did? <laughs> um, you know, but um, once you do that, of course, you lose gun dispersion. Yeah, I mean, it just goes wild. It becomes a uh, a tank that you can get somewhere very quickly, do some spotting, and get out of there. You know, it's almost uh, comparable to, I'd say, you know, EBR speed, kind of. But um. Anyway, Nona's been playing this, and he finds himself on steps in a tier 10 battle. Oof. Ouch. Well, not necessarily ouch. I mean, this this tank, it, it's got a, a fairly good hitting gun. It's 105 millimeter with a 390 alpha and 258 penetration. If he fires the gold, he's up to 315. And the HE is a 510 with a 53. Um, it, it, so it's not, it's, not a, it's not a soft gun. But accuracy uh, struggles on this thing. Um, but you see a lot of players playing it, you know, in 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 modes you know, like ranked or in, in randoms. And then and the the big thing about it is you can get there so quickly. You know, like I said, it's it, it's comparable to EBR speed. But um, anyway, I digress. Uh, Nona spawned over in the north and looks to be headed uh, what directly east. So Nona, take it away. Nice wide open map like this is good for this tank. And that he can get somewhere fairly quickly. It looks like Nona's gonna. Is he gonna, gonna push straight across? It looks like he is running the the gas powered turbine. He can get in here. The Leopard is also a fairly sprightly tank, and Nona's gonna get. He's gonna get in here deep. Turns off the. Uh, Gas powered turbine, supercharger, whatever you want to call it. Now his dispersion kind of goes back to a you know standard tank, you know, medium tank dispersion. Oh, Progetto, in hard. And Nona puts a shot into him. The 140's got the back end and Okay, wants he wants a piece of Nona. He wants a piece of him bad. And trying to get somebody to come in towards him. Nona Ram kills him. Nicely done. Oh, takes one from the 57 Heavy. Gets ammo racked. Don't want to get hit again. Oh, nice ricochet. <laughs> and there's Artie. Okay. Everybody's in the game now. <laughs> All right. And the MX 50B. The leopard over there. Don't forget about him, Nona. Don't forget about the Leopard. Ah, yeah, him. <laughs> Oh, Artie says hello to the leopard. Nona puts a shirt armor not penetrated. The EBR is going to come crashing around here pretty soon. Oh. And there goes the leopard. Good job. Got rid of him. All right. So you guys have managed to uh, kind of put everybody back on their heels. Uh, 57 heavy fires. Oh, armor not penetrated. Ow. There goes the EBR. Oh, no, no. Oh, okay. And this poor mouse, he's just in here hard. Bounces the 57 heavy. Nice. And he's firing AP with that. Uh, hardly anybody in a 57 heavy fire is just AP. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Nona takes out the EBR, which is always a good thing. 5100's right here. Nona puts a nice tracking shot onto him. And a 50, and he's down. I might have to try to push down that line. Those tanks see a lot more of them lately. I'm not sure why. Alright, so 
You guys have cleaned up your flank. You're pushing in towards the base. The heavies are holding over in the uh, rock area. Not looking to cap. Just going to get in here behind them. EBR down. BZ-55. Here comes Nona. Oh. Yeah, I think I might have gone for the BZ first. <laughs> Leopard's in on the VZ. Now puts a shot into him. I mean, he didn't take his tier 10 very far, did he? He wants you. <sighs> Just can't do it. And he's down. All right, well. You guys are cleaning up quite nicely. Nona turns on the turbocharger, the super boost. It's up and rolls. And Goulet, E100 now turns it off so he gets his gun dispersion back and see the 140 catches right up to you. So I wonder if it's really worth it. Oh. Ouch. Was not expecting that. But then again, you did try to go face to face with the E100. <laughs> oh, let's check out the game plates. I got a second class out of that. Bruiser, Duelist, Fire for Effect. Uh, I'm sorry, Fighter and Fire for Effect. 77,814 in, in credits, 5,028 in experience, and seven bonds. You did 3,066 in damage, got four kills for base XP of 1,117. I mean, you were aggressive on that one. 13 shots are fired of those 12 hit, and of those 9 penetrated. There's the derpiness of that gun. Uh, 800 blocked in damage. Inclu I mean, that's surprising, because these things are not known for their overwhelming armor. <laughs> and you got 1,050 in assistance. Didn't make a lot of credits on that one, but you did make some pretty good experience. Um, so we'll see what the second one brings us, but that was... You titled that one Punishing Hunter-Killer Combo, and it is. It's got the speed to get there quickly. You were able to use the gun. The armor was actually surprisingly effective, and, um, you know, but had they really pushed you hard, I think you would, have, you would have found yourself back in the garage quicker. But note to self, don't go face-to-face -face with an E100 when low on hit points. I'm just saying. Anyway, let's see what the second one has for us. All right, so here we are with the second tank, and I actually recorded these out of order, but you'll get the gist of the of the meaning of the videos. <laughs> uh, today, Nona finds himself on Sand River in a standard battle. He's in a tier 10 again. Um, as we saw in the last video, he used the speed to get to a, a very strategic area, and, and, and luckily was able to hold out with his gun and some support. So, you know, Obviously, if, if, if you have a team that will support you, you can use the speed to become very, very, very effective. And so he spawned over in the east side now and looks to be headed straight north along with some fairly fast uh, um, teammates. So, Nona, take it away. He's got the gas-powered turbine charged up, ready to go, running. Um, jumps. Jumps. I mean, even uphill, he's doing roughly 50, 50 to 55 kilometers. I mean, that's not bad. You can hear that. If you can listen closely, you can hear that the air of the turbine. Anyway. Okay, so <laughs> Nona pushes deep, deep again over here. And that's good. Get up here. Get your... Uh, you don't have any support this time, which could not, which could be uh, not a good situation. You do have some down below you, which is okay. Gun depression on this thing is not terrible. It's not great. All right, Centurion Action X pushing up hard. He takes a couple whacks. Yeah, he's looking at you. You just don't have the gun depression for that. But now you're getting some support. 50-51, and it looks like he's trying to come in behind you guys. Uh, 
Armor not penetrated. That's not good. Oh, takes one from the action X. And there's a critical hit. Takes another one from the action X. Takes one from a leopard one back on the hill. This is not good. I mean, you put yourself in this situation. Man. <laughs> Three from the action X. And... All right, he's down. Jesus. The E-50 is not even paying attention to you. A little bit of ram damage, but the E-50 is not the one you want to try to ram. Oh, goodness. And get a kill. Nicely done. But you are now down to 61 hit points. And you're only, what, two minutes into the game? <laughs> You like living on the edge. <laughs> All right. So, your team is taking the flank. Now, what's the plan, Stan? Three to nothing. Just cleared out that area real quick. Yeah, you have to be very cautious now because you just don't have the hit points. Uh, a good splash from an art from an arty would take you out. Guesstimating where the grill A is gonna go. There's a shot into him. There's another one. Not sure if you that first one landed, but we got here super crunk pushing hard. There you go, right into the side of the turret. That always is good. Forced him back. Oh, overcompensated, I think. And the shot into the leopard, returning the favor. Just being a sniper, because pretty much what you're relegated to at this point. <laughs> Due to the loss of HP. 60 TP. Oh, goodness. Yeah, you need to get off of there before somebody nukes you. And uh, the EBR is coming. He's looking for you. He is going to look. Oh, I hate this. Are you going to be able to do it? Shot into him. Bounce his shot. That's nice. He's got the reload on you, though. 140 is coming to help. is out of there now. He's going to try to get in behind you, isn't he? 60 TP is close. Yeah, I'm not so sure you want to. There goes the turbine. <laughs> the... Yeah, whatever. And hear the whine of the supercharger. Headed back. I think you're headed back towards base. Yeah, okay. Figuring that the EBR is over there trying to do something. Spotted. Oh no. Oh my goodness. i you didn't kill yourself on that one. that EBR go. There's still a smarty in the game and a 268. Oh, and an E100, my bad. You 
basic say it's taking on your uh, whatever it is that you have down there. Oh, 215B. Okay. All right, so you've, you oh, and the EBR shows up, but hey, look who it is. <laughs> All right, EBR shows up over there, the 215B and the 140. You take out the RD. The E100 is still roaming around somewhere. I mean, it's just clean up on aisle five. There's the E100. He's dug in like dug in that uh, dug into a little ditch like a tick, isn't he? Where's he at? Oh, where's he at? Can you get a shot on him? And you're going after him. Going after the EVR. Yeah, well, he's dead. <laughs> All right, time to get on cap and force the EBR, or I'm um, the 100 force the EBR to come and get you. So, again, use the speed to put yourself in a in a very aggressive position. Uh, luckily, using the hit points, I mean, 2,000 hit points, I mean, that's not bad. But using hit points to keep you alive while you're taking on tanks that uh, <clears throat> don't necessarily out-reload you. But um, you were able to, to get, get him turned around and facing you. I don't know <clears throat> how helpful the... Uh, the ouds was behind you, but it did it did open up that area and allowed the larger team to push in and kind of clean up that air, that that flank. So, um, you know, good on you. I, I it wouldn't have worked out well for me. I can tell you that. <laughs> All right, so we're about ready to cap this thing. Is the EBR going to show up? Is he going to make a presence, or is he just going to hide and say, "Ah, this is a lost game." And it looks like he's just going to say nope, because that is the victory. Well, in this one, you got a third class. You got a Hand of God, Duelist, Fire for Effect, and Spartan. I mean, once well, survive a ricochet or non-penetrating shot from an enemy player, your vehicle must have it must have less than 10% of its hit points. <laughs> and you did. Um, let's see, you got 69,740 in credits, 6,570 in experience, and seven bonds. He did 2,855 in damage, got two kills for base XP of 876. So I'm not going to get a lot, you know, playing those upper tier games. I'll go back here. And you fired 15 shots of those, 11 hit, and of those, 9 penetrated. So again, that gun just isn't, it, the accuracy is just not there. Um, I mean, it's close, but it's just not always there. Uh, he did 1,141 from 300 meters out. You did block 390, and he did assist with 632. Costly game, but you made some good experience. So, I mean, it, it's a tier 10 tank, right? I just don't know if if I, if I if it's the tier 10 tank that I would like. It, I, like I said, I think it has a medium to high skill cap on it for players to really make good use of that speed, uh, the wonkiness of the gun. and uh, But you're, you're doing it. You're doing it, uh, you know, being very aggressive, and that's working for you. Um, I think had that E50 turned around and, and started shooting at you, you wouldn't have, it wouldn't have worked out well for you. But then again, that would have allowed your your the other flank to push in. So uh, it's hard to say. But anyway, great games, great games. So that's Nona Mendes from the HBG clan in his CS63. Uh, the first one was on steps, and this one is on Sand River. If you liked the video, hit the like button. Keep those videos coming. I greatly appreciate it. Please remember to hit the subscribe button. This is Bonsai Duck out.